Hello, my beautiful Cancers. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkers.com, here to bring you your weekly love forecast for July 24th to July 30th. Guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you'd like more information, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. All right, so what are we gonna talk about today? We're gonna talk about the day-to-day, -day, and then the overall, and then advice. So stick with me to the end. Let's jump right in. Let's go on my Cancers. Romantic love life for July 24 to 30. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Feels good. Let's go on my Cancers love interest romantic love life for July 24 to 30th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And let's see what's going on with my Cancers oracles. Let's go on my Cancers romantic love life for July 24 to 30th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, great. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, so. Okay, so there's going to be some challenges here on the 24th, okay? So it seems like there's going to be some challenges happening here uh, because of work or gaining some kind of knowledge here with the, uh, the Eight of Pentacles. is like educating yourself or gaining knowledge. It's like school or work or apprenticeship here. So there's some things that are going to cause some challenges around work or school apprenticeship here. Okay, so be cognizant of that on the 24th. Your love is the person you're dealing with has the king of pentacles energy. They're being wise in their decision making when it comes to long-term commitments towards Virgo Capricorn energy. On the 25th, so we have friendships here going on in your romantic love life, and it does look like, ooh, friendships could be uh, influencing your romantic love life and you're dealing with some type of heartache here with the three of swords energy, okay? Or there's more than one choice or option here going on with the three of swords energy. Your love, it's the person you're dealing with has the devil card energy. So some bondage, addiction, depression, or procrastination. All right, some untruths happening here with them, or they they're they're, they're having a sense of challenging uh, a challenging day on that day with the devil card energy. On the 26th, we see that there's hope here. Thank goodness in your romantic love life. Um, you are um, going deeply spiritual here with the, uh, with the hermit card energy. So you're really analyzing and you're contemplating things. You're isolating yourself. You see in this card, the hermit card energy has a star. For me, it's like you're really, you're having an awareness that there's hope in your romantic love life and you're really analyzing what you want here with the hermit card energy. On the 26th, your love interest, the person you're dealing with is uh, wanting some kind of reconciliation, some kind of healing here with the judgment card energy. On the 27th, um, something to do with trust here that could be affecting your romantic love life. It does look like, whoa, you have this potential offer here, Ace of Pentacles, but I have a sense that you're, uh, you're, you're not certain about it or you're not having trust and faith in this uh, potential offer here, Ace of Pentacles energy. So this, there's this potential offer happening here on the 27th. It's being presented to you. Um, so... The trust card can be that there is something to do with someone who maybe is not being completely straight up here with the trust card energy, or it could be saying that in the positive sense, have trust and faith here uh, about this opportunity. So let me know in the comments below on the 27th. Your love interest or the person you're dealing with has the um, the emperor card energy. Um, so there it's, uh, they're, they're taking control, they're organizing things, they're structuring things in a certain way when it comes to their romantic love life there. And also the uh, emperor can come out when somebody is getting into a routine, you know. On the 28th, enjoy yourself with the paradise card here. Um, it does look like you're going to be completely happy here on this day with the 10 of cups energy. So that's good on the 28th, it's gonna be a good day. Your love is the person you're doing is doing a lot of reminiscing about the past with the Six of Cups energy. They're really looking to the past a lot here. On the 29th, travel could be affecting a romantic love life. Yep, join the club, okay. <laughs> and oh, wow. So travel is affecting romantic love life, but we see that there's a twin flame soulmate connection here. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a really nice card there to get on that day. And it looks like somebody's making a choice with the heart there, okay. Your love is the person you're dealing with is they're, they're going forward into a long-term situation, but they're slow walking things, Knight of Pentacles energy. On the 30th, be wise about your decision-making here with the wisdom card. And it does look like world, travel, foreign, or there's a sense of accomplishment or completion on this day with the world card energy. 
your love interest, the person you're dealing with on the 30th is having a sense that my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about my situation here with the eight of swords energy. So let's move this out of the way. Bear with me for a second here. I want to go over your numerology before we go into your overall here. So we see that this week it's about putting the worker effort into some type of opportunity or putting the worker effort, let's go across, putting the worker effort into a creative solution, a building a foundation uh, because of an opportunity to be completely happy here. <clears throat> okay, so bear with me for a second here. I'll clear this out of the way and we can work on your overall here, Cancer. Okay. What's going on my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for July 24th, 30th? What's going on my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for July 24th, 30th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. What's going on with my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for July 24th, 30th? What's going on my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for July 24th, 30th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So it looks like in the current situation, you are defending your position. Okay. You're having the sense, I have a higher ground to win this here. And it looks like because you're trying to gain some kind of knowledge about what's going on with the situation, okay, or there's a person that's trying to gain knowledge, uh, or there is a sense that there's some things yet to be known. This is like the High Priestess card. It's like, it's about using your intuition. It's about things that are yet to be known, or there's something secret, or there's a sense that you want to gain knowledge and you're trying to defend your position, okay? And seven is a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing, and two plus six is seven, eight, about putting the work or effort into a situation. So what's the blockage here for you guys? Star card energy, someone's wishes, someone's hopes here. Something to do with spiritual here. Cause okay, so we got the star card energy with the cross card. For me, this speaks of spiritual. So there's some blockage here because of spiritual things here. Possibly something to do with spiritual path something that you have to, some kind of spiritual lesson here with the star card energy, okay? Also could be interpreted that someone's uh, uncertain about the spiritual connection or something to do with the spiritual connection here with the cross card and the star card energy or something to do with someone's wishes here or hopes here is a burden and a challenge in the situation and that's, that's blocking you. Three plus six is seven, eight, nine about your wishes being fulfilled. Okay, so at the foundation, there's a sense of loss here about the past with the Five of Cups energy. This is leaving you at a crossroads here with a crossroads card. So you're at a crossroads. There needs a choice for you to be made because of some things about the past. Um, there's regret about the past. So what happened in the past? There was a lot of burdens, responsibilities, or there were some things that were weighing heavy on someone's mind about improvements and changes here with the store card energy so or migration here and the store card uh can be fertility too because storks you know carry the baby so there were some things weighing heavy on someone's mind about change improvements migration uh fertility okay so eight is putting the worker effort into some kind of completion so at the head of the matter here Okay, so we have this opportunity for passion, renewed passion here, Ace of Wands energy, and a sense of feeling like uh, isolation or separation or wanting things organized and structured in a certain way. Okay, let's keep going. 10 is about some kind of completion because of an opportunity. Okay, so in the near future, it looks like it's about control here with this Emperor card energy. Control because of a certain person. Okay, so a person card is coming out. They want things organized and structured in a certain way, something to do with, okay, so the emperor can be, since we're talking about, uh, emperors can be work, they can be a boss, they can be um, a father figure, or a father energy. So we see that there is some isolations or separations that happen because of migration change or improvement because somebody was at a crossroads pertaining to a particular person 
or the tower could be saying there was a person that wanted things organized and structured in a certain way so that there could be a change or improvements here but there was a person that was at a crossroads they had to make a choice about a particular person which was a burden and a challenge okay and we see this person is coming out this is uh, the Emperor can be an Aries kind of energy uh, something to do with this person and control routine orga organized and structuring things okay 2 plus 8 is 9 10 so something that they want to organize and structure to complete here so what's your influence oh wow okay so you got this offer here the influence is this offer ace of pentacles energy this this offer here uh, pertaining to a fresh start and new opportunity and for some of you since I see the child there in that card this offer could be um, something to do with the child or children okay because they see the stark energy here and the stork as I said can represent fertility okay so we see at the head of the matter it's something to do with this potential passion renewed passion here and this regret about the past the sense of loss pertaining to the past and being at the crossroads because this a sense of isolation or separation and um, there is a person that really has a wish and a hope here, and that seems to be influencing romantic love life. There is a, um, the influence is there is a person that wants to offer some kind of potential long-term commitment or something to do with a child or children here. Okay, so that's the influence in your romantic love life, this potential offer here for uh, some kind of long-term commitment or some kind of fresh start, new opportunity, or something to do with actual children. Okay, so... Um, Let's see what's going to be in four is about stability and stableness pertaining to an opportunity. What's going to be the outcome? Wow, Ten of Cups energy. And again, we're seeing a person card come out here. Happiness because of a person. Oh man, the lover's card energy. A lover's card, twin flame, soulmate connection, choice with the heart. And let's see the last one. Nine of Pentacles. There is a person that's still a bit self focused here. Okay. Mice card shows me. Okay. All right. Scythe card. Okay. So there is a person that's focused on their happiness here because they want to make a choice with their heart, which is causing stress here and anxiety here with the mice card energy. And there's a person that's decided to focus on self because they want to make some kind of decision scythe card energy so this person they're stressing about a decision uh, they want to focus on being happy here ten of cups energy and a twin flame soulmate connection but there is a sense that they want to focus on self here nine of pentacles energy so there's a person that's wanting to focus on self or isolating themselves so they can make some kind of decision or cut things away or cut things out obviously a choice needs to be made here with the lovers card energy um, so 10 represents some kind of completion, the lovers represents a choice, and nine wishes represents some kind of wishes being fulfilled here. So there's stress about this choice because a decision needs to be made. Okay, let us get some advice for you guys. Okay, King of Cups tells you to be wiser your decision making when it comes to love because there is true love here, Ace of Cups energy. And you have to be honest about it. Seven of Swords energy, okay? So be honest about the situation when it comes to love. So for you guys, use your heart. Know that there's true love here and be honest about it with the Seven of Swords energy. Uh, kings are about wisdom. So be wise in your decision making uh, around an opportunity. And seven is do a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing about it. So really think about this, contemplate this with your heart, okay? All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. I also want to thank my members. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you guys so much. And guys, have a great rest of your week. I love you guys so much.